Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here. And I know that I said today was going to be the Legends Behind the Cards. I pushed that one day. I wanted to get you guys a little loot report, show you guys what I got yesterday at the locals. Um, and without giving away too much, um, let me just say I picked up three different deck cores. Now, I realize that I am putting these upside down right now, and there's a reason for this. Um, these are all going to be decks for next month. Um, I don't want to reveal them now, and then maybe you guys won't watch them. I, I kind of want to build a little anticipation. Um, this is going to be the first uh, like week and a half, two weeks of our decks for Spooktober, because that's what Halloween in October is all about, is a bunch of spooky stuff. So my decks are going to be themed towards that next uh, during October next month. Uh, so that's really cool. Let's get all three of those decks out of the way. And let me show you the single stuff that I picked up. Now, some of it I did immediately trade. Um, there was some of that today. Um, but overall, it wasn't a bad haul. So first card up was a Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. I'm still working towards getting the cards to build you guys a quick deck to show off this guy. And now that I have them, all the better. Uh, we did get a Junk Speeder. I do think I'm going to need that uh, to build this deck. So... I went ahead and got a single copy of him. I know that yesterday we did the Dogmatica Punishment as our card of the week. Um, and I treated myself. I, I found somebody who actually had all three uh, in the Super Rare. So when I use it, I will have Super Rare versions to show you guys. Because, you know, sometimes common hurts your eyes. Um, but uh, again, you guys can pick those up for like 50 cents a pop if you guys want to get the original commons. Not a huge big deal there. Um... Up next, uh, for a game type I'm working on, I needed another cart, Graceful Charity, get a pot of greed. I'm going to show you guys this before the end of the month. I try not to make too many decks that I think I'm going to end up remaking uh, when it's ban list season. So I'm going to do, it's going to be kind of like a filler arc, but not really a filler arc. It's something totally different. And uh, I'll get to you guys with that probably mid next week. Uh, we got a Vampire Sorcerer for some reason. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if that was just a toss-in or this might actually be Phil's. I might have accidentally scooped that card up. Got myself a nice Ancient Gear Megaton Golem. I thought that that would make a great addition to what I'm using. Got another copy of Elder Entity Intis because this is going to go great, especially with the Dogmatica Punishments. It seems weird to not pick up one with the other. Uh, we did get a copy of Dark Ruler No More. And again, these were common. I want to say that was the Charmer Structure deck. Uh, but this is one of the, like the Mega uh, 19 tins. So awesome. Love it. I did get another uh, Solemn Strike. I managed to pick up a good Ash Blossom. Always a good pick. Uh, Nightmare Cerberus. Uh, so that means all the Nightmares that got damaged during my water damage. This I can finally toss this. We've got his replacement lined up. I finally did it, guys. I got Invoked Macabre. Uh, I've been talking about this card for a long time now. I, every time I talk about it when I'm playing a Cyber Dragon deck, uh, this should take the place of my Barbaroid Ultimate Fighting Machine uh, every time. Uh, so what happens with Nova is if it gets destroyed, you can special summon a Fusion Monster out of your extra deck. And normally, like again, if you're just playing uh, to the core of the deck or playing something more show style, uh, you'll probably end up playing something like Cyber Twin Dragon or Cyber End Dragon. Um, but this is a great way to maintain the fact that you're going to get negations. Uh, the effect here will be once per turn during either player's turn when a spell trap or monster effect is activated. You can send the same type of card from your hand to the discard and negate the activation. And if you do, you get to additionally banish the card, um, which is actually very cool. Uh, but this will allow you to almost psych the opponent out. Look, if they want to get rid of it before you can get to infinity... This allows you to still get some negates. It's going to be a little weaker, uh, but its power is going to remain standard, whereas the other one will fluctuate a little bit. And last but not least, I was able to pick up a full set of Fantastical Dragon Phantasmes. Um, didn't need them, uh, but I do like all my stuff to be matching art. So these are probably going to be the ones that are going to be sleeved up and in my collection from now on. Uh, so to my duelist friends, like on my team and everything. Uh, somebody's probably about to get pelted with a set of these, uh, or they just make their way into my trade binder uh, to help me expand and get more cards. Um, so again, with three mystery decks on the, on the line for next month, um, 
and all of this, I would say that this was actually a pretty good haul. Um, I really wasn't planning on going down to the card shop today, but you know, or yesterday, sorry. Um, but I did it. So I'm glad that I did. I got some pretty cool cards. And uh, I'm actually going to be going to a card shop that's not my normal locals next week. So I can't wait to see what we're going to get there. Um, again, anybody who's hype for the uh, for October, you know, let me know. Uh, if you guys got an idea of some spooky deck that you guys would like to see, let me know. There's some that are already listed uh, on my itinerary, some things that I'm already going to schedule up. Uh, and just real quick, again, I got another YouTube project that's upcoming. So if you or one of your friends is a pretty cool artist and would like to, you know, make a little bit of money here, as well as get some exposure and make me some tasty art, I'd love to talk. I'd love to talk to you guys. Uh, my email is as part of my profile here on YouTube. You guys can just go to the channel, see that, contact me. Uh, that would also be very appreciated. So. Uh, just real quick, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by, checking this out with me. I'm really happy about some of these pickups. Some of these are just immediately going to the Trade Binder, like the Ash Blossom, the Strike. Uh, I, I think the Dark Ruler No More, I don't think I needed that. I think I just traded for it because it was like, why not? It was already part of a deal. The, the Phantasmes were like, uh, you know, I just have a thing about being the same. Um, and again, three decks for next month. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.